God. Um, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Well, I've only just bought the place, Mal. What have I ever done to anybody? Hey, 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 no, no, look, you can't start taking this personally. Welcome to the nightclub game, act. Yeah. Great. He didn't hurt you, did he? Mm -hmm. No, it was just a stray on to the face, that's all. Did you get a look at him? Like, was he tall, short? Mal. I didn't say much. Look, I told the police everything. That's odd. What is? That's the charity money that we raised for Steph. It was there with the other stuff. It, there was at least a few grand there. So why didn't he take that? Oh, here, I just got your message. Oh, listen, I'm so sorry I wasn't here. I feel awful. I must say again. About five grand. Scum. But you're insured, right? I mean, you, you'll get it all back? Once the police report's filed, yeah. Not that that makes up for some low-life violating you, but at least it's something, yeah? No, it's not. Cheryl says you scared them off. Didn't think you had it in you, big fella. What happened there? Quay fell on in the storeroom. Why'd you ask? No reason. I promise, I'm gonna find out who did this, and I'm gonna tear them apart, okay? I want you to let the police handle it, Ben. What are the police gonna do, huh? Michael Bowners aren't exactly top priority for the cops. Look, I don't want you going after them, okay? No revenge. I just I want to forget about it. Okay. Because it's you asking. Come here. I love you. That's them. What's next? Well, honestly, love, you've done enough. Uh, I've got it from here. Not until you're ready to open. Sorry, it's a block about the new safe. One second, yeah? Patience is a virtue, my dear. Yeah, I got your money. But you're gonna have to wait. I know I did. But I'm changing the deal. Yeah, Cheryl, um, I need to tell you something. In a minute, Tom. Yeah, but it's about the burglary. There's something about the person that I recognise. His voice. You know who it is? I don't get up. Why didn't you say anything to the police? Because I had to be sure. Well? Yeah, right, but before I tell you, look, you're going to go off the deep end, so just, just promise you'll hear me out, okay? The person that I caught coming out of the club is... Oh, and uh, I wouldn't tell our Brendan. You know how protective he gets now. What? It is Brendan. I'm serious? You think our Brenton broke in here and robbed me? Yeah. What's got into you? He shouted something during the struggle. I know it was him. And why didn't you say anything? But because I didn't know how to tell you. Because it's mental, that's why. You, you promised you'd hear me out, yeah? Look, that safe's indestructible. All right, but I only know that because I had to try and get into it whenever we lost the code. You'd hear me out, yeah? Look, that safe's indestructible. All right, but I only know that because I had to try and get into it whenever we lost the code. And you're telling me somebody smashed it in my hammer? There's not a chance. The person who broke into the safe did it with the code. Is that it? Cheryl, why can't you see what he is? I know what he is, man. It's you I'm worried about. Yeah. Well, I get proof. So it's all going like total clockwork. I got the money, I'm out in under four minutes. So no problem whatsoever with the law. And as I'm calmly walking away, guess who will get taken out by? Malachi. No. Yeah. So then I'm just desperately trying to keep the balaclava on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did he know it was you? Dunno. Of course not. You good? Coming from you, I'm flattered. So how do you want the money? I explain you should mention that. Funny how. I like Cheryl and I think she deserves to know the truth about this robbery. <laughs> and now I know that you're the kind of brother that'll steal from his own sister to ensure that his secrets stay secret. 
Well, I think I'm going to have to confess to Maliki. You're some piece of work, do you know that? I think we have to double the money. Double? Cheryl's never going to believe a word of it. You're getting greedy now. She likes me. Not a chance. I'm going to tell Malachi that you paid me to scam him and the McQueens. I think he might believe me. <laughs> so, you've got another day to pay me double. <laughs> Get off me. I like you. A lot. It'll be a real shame for you to run that. So be a good girl. And take what we agreed on. Come on. Go buy yourself something nice, yeah? I didn't realise you were actually friends with that con artist. Although I can't say it comes as any great surprise. What are you on about? Well, that little chat you two were having. Seemed to get quite heated. Business. Isn't it always, Brandon? Seemed to be a fair amount of cash you were giving her. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> yeah, see, I figured that's what you'd say. Which is exactly why I took a photo of you on my phone. Clarity and detail you can get these things in. It's amazing technology. Yeah? Now let me just think. Where would you have got your hands in that amount of cash, yeah? You got something to say. Just say it. You know that's not gonna work, me, Brennan. We both know I'm as strong as you are. Remember that we tussle we had when was it? Oh yeah. Just after you broke into the club. Even if I had, which is obviously a complete fantasy, I'll probably got a photo of me talking to someone. Yeah, you're right. I can't prove it. The same as I can't prove that you put Veronica on to me in the first place. But I know you did. See, I'm not surprised you're looking for someone to blame on that. Must have been very humiliating for you. Why don't you watch who you're talking to? You see, the thing you're forgetting, Brendan, is that the type of man who would steal from his own family is bound to trip up eventually. Now, unlike everyone else around here, I know exactly what you are. Hmm. And once I've proved that you set Veronica up to do me over and you robbed the club, so will everyone else.